guys, welcome back to my channel, Limitless B WL. So today I have a new video for you guys. We are gonna be doing a full face of first impressions. So I'm super excited. I have so much makeup that I've yet to try, so I'm probably gonna do another one very, very soon. If you guys like this one, so if you guys like this one, make sure to let me know down below. Before we get right on into the video, I have a little favor to ask you guys. It's actually a really big favor in terms of like how much it means for me, but basically apply to be a part of the Sephora squad. So that's basically like a bunch of people they're gonna recruit to be a part of their squad to create content for them and all that good stuff. And it would mean so so much to me to be able to have that opportunity because you guys know I use Sephora products all the time. And that being said, I really need your help in order to be able to do that so I'm gonna leave a link down below and if you guys think I should be a part of the squad or deserve to be a part of the squad you could just take two seconds out of your day to write a small little testimonial for me and it would mean so so much to me so much obviously I'm very thankful for you guys you guys know that I wouldn't be here without you guys and so many of you have already taken time to do that for me so thank you guys so much I appreciate it so so much so yeah, if you guys want to take some time out of your day to do that for me, the link will be down below. And that being said, let's get straight on to the video. Okay guys, so we have lots of new products to try out today. There's products that I've never tried, like brands I've never tried, like Beauty Bakery. And then there's brands that I have tried. So can't wait to get into this. Of course, this will all be products that are hopefully dark skin friendly when we actually tried it out. So I'm just priming my eyes with the P. Louise base. I know I never show you guys this, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how I actually do it. Um, I know a lot of people do it with their brushes, but I feel like it wastes so much product. And a little bit goes such a long way, so I'm just dabbing it out onto the eye as you can see. Okay, so now that we did that, we're going to be diving into the eyes. And I am going to be using the Morphe Times James Charles palette. Um, I know I used this in one Instagram tutorial, by the way guys. Usually my makeup tutorials are on Instagram, so make sure to follow me there. It's the same thing as my actual username here, that's BWL. So I did use this once, but my hair looks so I did use this once. Let's just ignore my hair, guys, okay? I did use this once, but I only really like dabbed into like literally like two colors, like I think like this and that or something. So we're gonna go ahead and actually get to play with this today, and I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and put this, this shade right here. Make sure you take out any creasing in the eyes, and then we're just going to dab this into our crease. Yeah, it's definitely a burgundy. It's beautiful. It's so pigmented. I think this is one of the colors I did use. So what I'm going to do is literally the whole crease, I'm going to really pack on the color. So now that we did that, I'm going to go in with this red right here, which I can't wait to use. I'm going to do a whole look with just that red. We're going to take a blending brush, and we're just going to really blend this out using circular motions. You want to overlap this right on top of the burgundy that we use right now, and take it higher as well we're gonna go ahead with this like dark purpley brown oh you can't see that this dark purpley brown shade right here um i wanted this to look more burgundy but it really doesn't so i'm just gonna use that same brush but just kind of use the tip of it i really just build up that crease just on the outer third with that same color i'm just gonna build up the outer part right here totally not doing what i had originally planned but we'll see where this takes us now i'm gonna go back in with that same burgundy i am using the same brush for all this i bought brushes at the morphe store but i have no idea where to put them so but we're just gonna dab this on the outer like the inner part just kind of blending those two shades together well not two shades but my lid on that yeah okay so now that we did that we're gonna have to cut the crease because it just kind of looks bleh to me. By the way, guys, my hair looks disgusting in this video. Let's ignore it, okay? So I'm just going to be using the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Shadow in the shade Double Pub Latte. This is a part of the, like, the newer ones. I've never tried this shade yet, but it looks like a beautiful, beautiful tan shade. So I just find it so easy to cut the crease with this because it already comes with a perfect applicator. I actually absolutely love these, by the way, guys. I'll do like a tutorial using these here soon. And just set it in place the first third of it at least now I don't know if I want to take this like berry or that I'm kind of leaning towards that shade and I'm just gonna kind of put it right here in between that burgundy we placed earlier I love it 
Okay guys, so there you have the eyes for now. It looks pretty blended to me. Obviously when we like actually clean this up and like put lashes and stuff, it's gonna look better. Um, to be honest, just first impressions, I felt like the shimmery shades were kind of hard to work with to blend it with the matte. It wasn't going on perfectly. It could be because of the base and all that stuff. We'll play around it with more, play around with it more, and I'll give you guys like an actual update on my Instagram story or something. But for now, the mattes are amazing. Okay, guys, so I have a new foundation to try. I actually had this for so long, like literally ever since I bought that Maybelline foundation, but I've yet to try it. So I've never opened it, so it should be good. And this is the Wet and wild a photo focus foundation so many of you guys have been asking me to try this out so let's go ahead and do that um again i don't know if i mentioned this to you guys i went on my batch to put to canada and had an amazing time but my skin is like super bad from that because of the sun like you know how it gets super patchy and stuff so let's just go ahead and see this color um i feel like it's gonna be all right it's a little red Workable. We'll be able to work it out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and color correct my face really quick because you guys have seen me do that so many times. And then we'll go ahead and try the foundation on. Okay, guys. So now that I color corrected, I feel like now you can tell how bad like burnt my skin got. It's just um not even burnt. Yeah, it's burnt. But like you know when you get burnt, it like really um intensifies your pigmentation and stuff. So let's go ahead. This is gonna be kind of dark. I can already tell. Like kind of orange. Whatever. We'll make it work. But I really, really love the application for this. I know people go like, oh, it's not really sanitary. To be honest, if it's like my own bottle, I really don't care for it. But it's not very nice. Almost too nice. Like, there doesn't seem to be any stick to it. Very, very, very red. Why does this happen to me every time I try a foundation? Or why do I always get something too dark? Blend that out. I think I put way too much. I said it's supposed to be a matte foundation, but it does not feel matte. So once I blended it out and like kind of blended it down my neck, um, it's it's all right. I do like it. I like I tried to search up like what the finish and like coverage of it was supposed to be, but I couldn't find it even on the Wet and Wild site. So if any of you know, please let me know. Um, but I could definitely say it's not matte. It's, the only thing it really says that it was like a photo finish ready like supposed to give you a flawless skin the coverage is very very nice i do really enjoy the coverage i just put how much i put and blend it out i didn't add anything else and it pretty much covered everything i really like it like i like how it looks on my skin but i probably won't reach for this one only because i like foundations that are very matte and i can tell that this is going to make me really oily very soon but then again we'll see when we're closer to the end I can see why people would really like normal to dry skin would really love that foundation. So now for concealer, Makeup Forever actually sent me their new um, Ultra HD concealers. Yeah, Ultra HD concealers. So I picked out these three shades. I feel like this one's going to be very close to my skin, that to highlight and that to contour. So let's just play with all three of them and see what happens. I'm just going to go ahead and apply it. Yeah, so this color is very similar to my skin tone. I can tell that this concealer is super hydrating, feels very similar to the actual foundation. And I'm going to mix it in with the lighter one because you guys know I like a very light under eye. So I really love how warm this concealer is straight off the bat. Wow, it's so yellow, which I love. This is a lot of concealer. It's my first time using it. I probably shouldn't have put this much, but whatever. I got excited. Taking my beauty blender and really blending that out. Blends out very, very nicely. Coverage is definitely not full. It's good. The coverage is very good, actually. It's just not, like, full when you compare it to, like, shape tape. <laughs> it's nice. I like it. I really like it. I feel like this foundation and this concealer together would make a good pair because they both have a little bit of a dewy look feel to it. It blends out very nicely. It feels very similar to the Fenty actually. Very, very similar. But this one blended out much quicker. This is a little bit more watery, I would say. Whereas the Fenty's a little more moussey. 
almost. So now we have, oh, I want to show you this packaging. Okay, so now we have the powder from the Beauty Bakery. They sent me this as well. And guys, look how cute the packaging is. It comes like in a little flower like bag. Basically, they sent me the shade yellow, and I can't wait to try because I've heard literally nothing but good things about Beauty Bakery's powders. So let's go ahead and apply this onto the skin. They have a really nice um, stopper too, really easy to take out when you have long ass nails like mine. Okay, so I do like a powder that's a little bit more darker than this, but I trust them, so let's see how it works. Just fixing those creases. Feels very fine under the eye. Sorry guys, that was my phone for my tutorial that I had to like post up. So now let's dust this powder off. Obviously that happened like the one time where I needed to like move fast. So it's been a couple of minutes of my powder dust off probably. Wow. It dusted off really nice. So there's like a little bit of a gray cast under my eye right here. That's not the powder's fault. That has been happening to me with every product I've been using. And as you can see, it's not this side. It's only this side. I don't know what it is. I feel like I need to color crack more or something because literally, guys, I'm not joking. Even when I use my sharp Tarte Shape Tape, that has been happening to me. That, wait, what? That has been happening to me. So I don't know. What can I do? You have the flaws you have in life. So I hope this shade is dark enough now that I have... No, this is going to be dark enough. Okay, so let's go ahead. Contour. Whenever I cream contour under my chin, I always forget to blend it out. It's so embarrassing. And then we're going to use the brush. And just stipple it out. Ooh, I really like this for a contour shade. It's really nice. It's actually really nice for contour because it blends out so easily. By the way, I don't know if I said anything about the powder, but the powder blended out really fast. It's and easily, especially when you take into consideration the fact that I like left it on there for a while. I'm gonna go ahead and contour our face if I can find my contour brush. But I can't, so we're just gonna use this. I just kind of focus there. Are my videos too chill, guys? Like, do you guys want me to be more professional about it? I don't know. Let me know. When I got my contour my face, I just meant, like, layer over the parts I already put. Okay, guys. So now let's go on to blush. Beauty Bakery literally has the cutest packaging, guys. Look at this. It comes, like, in, like, a little, like, cake box. Like, you know, cupcake box. And then look at this. It's so cute. It has, like, cotton candy on it. It's so, so cute. And basically they have lots of pretty blushes. I've never tried any of these, so let's get a brush and try one. Kind of leaning towards this and this, so let's try this one first. I guess we're just going for a very glowy look today. I love that. I'm going to mix it in with this. So pretty. Wow, I've never tried blushes that are this glowy before. I actually kind of like it. So we're almost done and my battery's about to die because I probably talked so much in this video. So I'm going to be trying out this like MAC powder, iridescent bronze, golden bronze powder thingy. Um, I've never really tried like a loose powder like this on my face. I've tried it on my body and stuff so I'm very curious as to how this is going to look. So I'm a complete liar because I can't take this off at all with my nails. There's no one here to help me. Like, it's not budging at all. Um, stay tuned. I'll use this in a future video. I'm very curious to how it's going to work. So let's just quickly go in with our huda. Just because I don't want this video to be too long anyways. So let's just go over something we've already used. You guys know I love this. I'm going to be using this Makeup Forever Artist Pro Eye Pencil. You guys have seen me use this before. Go ahead and just apply it in the waterline. I remember I used this in the waterline once before. It made me really teary. So hopefully I'll be fine this time. Okay guys, so before the lashes, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the bottom eye. I'm going to be using that burgundy shade that we first initially wet with and really blow out the bottom of the eye. Going in with that darker shade closer to the a third perfect I kind of want to bring in the um, copper down too but to be honest it wasn't blending out perfectly so I don't really trust it 
Oh my God, I'm tearing up, so it's like kind of coming down. So we have lashes from the extension bar. You guys know the extension bar. Extensions are my favorite extensions. So these ones, oh no, I lied. These ones look super dramatic. So we're just gonna go for it. Okay guys, so here are the lashes and they are so nice. I definitely need a little bit of mascara, but I can't find it. <laughs> Oh my god, I feel like it's such a lazy video, but I just want to beep my battery because it's like not going to last. This one actually kind of looks like a little wonky, doesn't it? I can't tell. I feel like it looks okay, but... Oh well, let's move on to the lips. So basically, I have these three lipsticks I got from MAC. They are part of their Powder Kiss Liquid Lipsticks. I mean, it's lipsticks and they're so pretty. Like, the colors are so pretty and they look so matte it's like really satisfying so i want to choose one of these colors i think i'm gonna go between these two mm. i don't know which color to choose i feel like this is the given but i don't want to do something so basic so i'm just gonna go with this one I changed my mind. We're just going to go with the berry. I just feel like it's going to look great at it. Uh, I'm going to pretty. I'll probably mix them. Why not? I'm just going to go ahead and mix it. Yeah, I like the color. Okay, guys. So there is the final look. Okay, guys. So I actually changed my lippy because I felt like that one just didn't really compliment the look that much. I wanted to try a new lippy that I had. I don't really have any other ones that are new, but I still showed you guys that. So the one I actually have on my lip right now is, I just brought it down. Oh, here it is. It is the Too Faced Drop, Drop Dead Red. Yeah, Drop Dead Red. Say it 10 times because it is a tongue twister. So I feel like this completes the look really, really nicely. So yeah, here's a close-up of my makeup. So yeah, that is the end of this video. If you guys like this video, please make sure to click that thumbs up button. Also, please don't forget to take a look at that link that I put down below. So you guys can, you know, maybe write a testimonial for me. If you guys feel like I deserve to be a part of the Sephora Squad. That was really cringe, but it's fine. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.